Hello everyone, today we will talk about Electrolyte Excel and its applications. First of all, we have Galvanic Cell and Electrolyte Excel. But what is the difference between them? In Galvanic Cell, energy released by spontaneous redox reaction is converted to electrical energy. But in electrolytic cell, electrical energy is used to drive non-spontaneous redox reactions. We see that in the equations. So, electrolytic cell, what is it composed of? Electrolytic cell is composed of two main components, the anode and the cathode. So, what is the cathode? In electrolytic cell, the cathode is negatively charged electrode. Electrons are pushed to the cathode by the external power source. And vice in the anode. In electrolytic cell, the anode is positively charged electrode. Let's see an example. In that electrolytic cell, we saw that when sodium ions collide with a negative electrode, the battery carries a large enough potential to force these ions to pick up electrons to form sodium metal. In this equation, we see that Chloride ions that colloid with the positive electrode are oxidized to chlorine gas, which bubbles off at the electrode. But in the other equation, the net effect of buzzing an electric content through the molten salt in this cell is to decompose sodium chloride into its elements, sodium metal and chlorine gas. So, the conclusion, we can see that the electrolytic cell is the opposite of, yes, electrolytic cell is the opposite of galvanic cell. But, what is the application of electrolytic cell? Before applications, let's see the definition of electrolytic cell. Electrolytic cell is an electrochemical cell that drives non-spontaneous redox reaction through the application of electrical energy. They are often used to decompose chemical compounds in a process called electrolysis. Now, let's see the applications. First, we have electroblating. Electroblating is the process of plating one metal onto another by hydrolysis, most commonly for decorative process or prevent corrosion of a metal. There are also specific types of electroplating, such as copper plating, silver plating, and chromium plating. We have also purification of metals. It is the purification of an impure metal by using the chemical effects of a current. The impurities are left behind in the electrolyte solution. The metals like 
copper, zinc, and aluminum are purified by the process of electrolysis by using the chemical effects of electric current. And this is the final result. We have also electrolysis of water. It is the decomposition of water into oxygen and hydrogen gas due to the passage of electric current. This technique can be used to make hydrogen gas which is the key element or the key component in the hydrogen fuel and to make breathable oxygen gas or can also make oxyhydrogen by mixing both of them. So the conclusion of all of that we can see that electrolytic cell is very important in our life. Finally, thanks for watching. This was made by Dominators.